Welcome back. In this video, we're going to create a VPC, a subnet, and a instance. So in the previous videos, we've just created a AWS instance. And by default, that just attaches to our default VPC. But what we want to do is we want to create our own, a new VPC and subnet and attach this instance to that VPC and subnet. And what we'll do is we're going to show you how to, you know, use output from one, one resource into another. So let's get started. We are going to keep, we'll keep our regular instant, our AWS instance here. So the first thing what we want to do is we want to create a AWS VPC. So what do we need to do to figure out how Terraform handles the VPC? Well, what I usually do is I just Google you know, Terraform AWS VPC. And usually the top hit is what I need. And so I kind of go, I go here and I kind of see what, what, what data do I need to pass this, this resource. So I can see it's, it's called AWS underscore VPC. And it accepts a uh, CIDR block. And here's some, here's a basic usage. So we'll create it and we're just going to uh, supply a CIDR block. So what we want to do is we need AWS underscore VPC. So again, resource. And then AWS VPC. And then the name can be anything you want. All right. So we've got a resource here, a resource name, and our attribute. Or not an attribute, but a resource, uh, what, what we call a name here. And again, this main here does not do anything to the actual infrastructure at all. It's just only for Terraform purposes. All right, so let's add a CIDR block. And let's see, it's just a string. So let's add 10, slash 16. So let's add that. So good. So that's that's basically all we need for our, our basic VPC. And um, we could add a tag, but we won't do that. I oh, might as well. Let's, let's add a tag. It's, it's good practice to name everything. So let's add tag. Um, name. Let's do tuts VPC. Perfect, we got that there. Uh, I'm just changing the indentation, which doesn't matter too much. All right, perfect, so we got that. So that's all we need for our VPC. So the next thing we wanna do, let's create a subnet. So how do we figure out what this identifier is here? Let's see, let's go to, let's, let's Google Terraform AWS subnet. And usually it's always the first first one. So you can see it's AWS underscore subnet. Perfect. So what do we need? So here's basic usage. So we can we just mainly need the VPC ID and the CIDR block that we want. All right. So the VPC ID, what that is, is that's going to be the VP the ID of of this resource. So how do we get that? You know. So what we have to do is like, we have to get the ID from this resource, but this resource isn't created yet. But what happens is all the resources from Terraform, they output a bunch of different attributes. So if we go back to our VPC resource here, if you go down to the bottom of the page, you see attribute reference, you can see the, all, of the, all of this data is exported from that resource. So we have access to a bunch of different different data. So what this is, we need the VPC ID for the subnet. What that is referring to is this ID of the resource that we created. All right. So so the way to do that. So let's 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 start creating our subnet. So resource AWS subnet. Uh, we can name it 
you know, let's just name it web, web or something. Doesn't matter. You can name this whatever you want. So perfect. We got that. So then we need the VPC ID. So how do we access the VPC ID? All right. So the way we're able to access the VPC ID from here is we can take, we can get it by calling AWS VPC, which is the resource. So AWS VPC, which is this dot the resource name. So AWS VPC dot main. So main is the resource name and then the attribute itself, which is ID. So here we're getting the AWS resource, the main, the resource name, and then the exported attribute from this, which is ID, which comes back to this, so the ID. So we could do, if we, if we needed like the CIDR block, instead of ID, we could do CIDR block, you know, we could do ARN if we, if we needed to, ARN, but we need the ID. So that's basically, that's how you get access data from a different resource. Perfect. So we have, uh, so we have this created, perfect. And then what else do we need on the subnet? And we just need the CIDR block as well. So let's, let's add that. And it's going to be a string. So let's just do 10.5.0.0 slash 16. Could be anything. Um, we'll do that. And then we'll just, we'll add tags again. Name of, you know, we'll just name it web subnet. I'm not sure why the linter has given me an error here, but that's, that's correct. Don't worry about that. Um, I don't know why that's giving me a lint error. That's not a big deal. I just started using a different um, extension. So ignore that. That's it's fine. Just ignore that error or that warning. All right. So we got that. So we got a name. So, so we got our VPC ID, which references this. So perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to attach our AWS instance to this, this, um, this VPC. Well, the way we do that is we can attach the subnet to the instance. So let's go to Terraform AWS instance. And if we look, there should be a, I believe there's a subnet ID. Subnet ID. The VPC subnet ID to launch in. So we're going to launch this instance into this subnet. And again, we need the output of this subnet here. So what we can do is sub subnet ID. And now we can take AWS subnet dot the resource name. So this is going to be the resource. And now the resource name here, web. And then dot, it's going to be I'm assuming it's going to be ID. So if you look on, you know, just how we ex how we had exported things from AWS, we can look at the exported attributes from the subnet. So the subnet only has four. So it has ID, ARN, owner ID, and IPv6, CIDR block, association. So that's what we have for that. So perfect. So so now we have, we basically have everything that we need to create our, our AWS instance inside of a subnet and a VPC. So let's just give it another scan. We've got everything here. So everything looks good. So let's, um, let's see what happens if we do Terraform apply. And we get everything. So now it should just, nothing's created yet. So it's just going to create everything. So let's just do yes. And this should just take a, a minute to create. All 
All right, so that's added. See, three added. So let's just go to our interface and make sure everything did get added. So let's refresh. So now we have an instance. Let's go to our VPC. And now we have a VPC of Tuts, Tuts VPC, which is this. And let's go to a subnet, which we should have web subnet. So perfect. So we've got that. So, so now we've learned how to basically take data from a existing resource or a resource that's already been there. And it, it's, it's pretty simple doing that. So another thing you might notice is we, we went in order. So we first, in the code, so we first specified our VPC, then our subnet, and then our instance. Well, one awesome thing with Terraform is essentially, so, so be, to be able to use this VPC ID in the subnet, this resource here, the VPC has to be created first. So that could get confusing and complicated, but Terraform takes all of that confusion out of the way. So when, when Terraform, before it runs, it actually parses the file and it can determine, the it, it looks for, for things like this it, it looks to where you call other resources, and it de it determines what needs to be ran first. So Terraform has parsed this file, this whole file, and it sees this. It sees the call to the VPC ID. So it knows that this VPC has to be created first before it can create this resource. And then it also sees um, here, it sees the use of the subnet block here. So it knows that this subnet has to be created before this instance, which is cool. So, so you can actually like define, so we have the, the resource subnet here after VPC. We can actually, we can specify in the code this anywhere. So now we're calling the subnet before the VPC and that's, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you call it because when Terraform basically parses this file, it knows or automatically what what to run first. So the order that you specify things in is it doesn't matter to Terraform at least. So they can they can be in any order. I would suggest though, just for readability purposes, to kind of specify them in the order that you need them or, or that it makes sense. So it kind of you know it just makes sense to create a VPC first and then a subnet and then the instance. You know, but it might not always work out that way. But for the most part, when you design the code, you know, do it for what you would naturally create in the interface uh, first. So if you're going to create the VPC first in the interface, you know, put that at the top of your code and then the subnet and then your instances. But Terraform knows all about the dependencies of everything. So essentially, the subnet is a dependency of the VPC, and then the instance is a subnet or a dependency of the subnet. All right, so that's everything that I have for, for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I will see you in the next video.